Hello, on this video, I'm going to talk about Python's module. So before we create any code, let's take a look on how the module works. So when you create a module, it creates a file. And within this file, you're going to write a series of functions. And then once you finish writing and testing this file, you can then write a main program and then from the main program, you can import these functions into this main program. And then what happens is that now, if you want to use these functions right here, right here on the main, all you have to do is import and then start using. So first, let's create the module named mymodule.py. And then let's create these two functions right here in the file. So first, I'm going to open the ideally. And then I'm going to create a new file. Then I'm going to save this file. And I'm going to name this file my module. And then it's here on this module, I'm going to create a couple of functions here. So first the shebang line and now the doc string. And I'm going to create a function to check if the number is even. So this function just checks if the number is even. Then the next function is just to convert from foot to inch. So this function just converts the length from foot to inch. And now I want to test these two functions right here to make sure they work. So first I'm going to call the is even function. And then I'm going to run this program. And then sure enough, 20 is true. So it prints true. If I pass 21, it should print false. So it prints false. Great. And now I want to test the conversions from foot to inch. So I'm going to call that function and I'm going to pass 1. So I should print 12. And this is good. So now here I have my module and everything works just fine on the module. And I know they work because I called them to test it. So now I'm going to put this on the side here. And now I'm going to create the main file. So saved. Now the shebang line, my doc string. And now I'm going to import the my module into the main program. So here I'm going to import my module. Now, once I import my module, I have these two functions here available on this file. However, if I run this right now, it's going to come here and execute this file and it's going to execute the two lines of code that I put there to test. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to run this file. And then when I run, it also executes the line 13 and 14 from the module. So I don't want that. I still want to keep something here for me to test. However, I just want to run these two lines here if I'm running the program from here. If I'm running from here, then I do not want these two test lines to execute. To solve this problem, I'm going to make a function and then I'm going to place these two calls here inside a function. So I'm going to create the function first. So the function I'm going to create is called the main. And then these two function calls is going to be inside my main function. And now I need a way to make sure I call this main function only if I'm running this file here from this file and not from the main program. So to do that, I can put an if statement right here and then underscore twice name underscore twice again, 
equals double quotes, then underscore twice, main underscore twice again, and then semicolon, and then here I call the main. So what this line here does, line 17, it just check if you're running from this file or if you're running from other file. So if I run here from this file, then this two function calls get call and then this gets executed. But now, if I go to my main file now, and if remember before we wrote this if statement right here, whenever you ran the program just like that, you would execute these two lines right here. And now if I run this file from here, it will not execute the line 14, 15. So this is really good because now I can use this file to test these two functions right here and I can run these functions from a different file without having to worry about this testing statements right here. So right here now on my main file, I want to start using those functions there. So here I'm gonna print the my module, then dots, and then once I put the dots, and if you press control and space on your keyboard, now you have the functions from the module that I just created. So first I'm gonna call the foot foot two inch, and then I'm gonna pass two here as a parameter, and then I'm gonna run this program. So if I run, now I get 24, and that's because two feet is equals 24 inches. Now I can do the same for the other function. So the other function is, is even. And I'm gonna pass the number three this time. And now if I run this program, I get three is false because three is not an even number. So I'm gonna put two now, run the program again, and Chu is a even number, so it returns true to me. If you notice right here, the Python used the dot notation, so it knows that this function belongs to this module that it just imported. When you import the module, you import every single function that is inside your module. But what if you just want a single function to be imported instead of everything. So if that's the case, then you're gonna use the word from, and then we're gonna import a single function. So let's say I wanna import only the foot to inch function. So on line four, I'm importing one single function only. So if I import one single function only, then if I try to run from the module, you'll give me an error. So in order for me to run the foot to inch function, I need now to remove the module name right here. So this is going to work and this is not going to work. So I'm gonna run this again. And if you notice right here, line six, it printed the 24. So this line here worked. But then once it tried to print the is even, then it did not work because it says it's not defined. Now it is defined, it just did not import this line here. So I'm gonna comment it out this line, run again, and no error. All right, so that's all for this video. Thanks for watching.